MTV is doing a TJ contest with Amex. So for anyone who remembers maybe, I don't know, 10, 12, 15 years ago. When they did the VJ contest. When they contest, did the VJs. And Jesse won. The guy, oh, the crazy, really, really tall remember. guy with the hair and the thing. And then he wasn't actually the VJ. The second runner up guy ended up becoming the famous VJ. I don't remember this at all. And then <laughs> Jesse, sounds great. Jesse, Jesse basically Jesse like lied. Derailed. He, he was like unraveled. Yeah, and he said he was like, he grew up like poor or something, but then it turned out he actually went to like some private school in Connecticut and was like, what, what I loved today was, was the 140 community manager, Janet, was explaining to me that MTV used to have these VJs. And I'm like, oh, honey. <laughs> <laughs> 1983, when cable TV came to Glastonbury, Connecticut, like all it was was VJs playing songs. And yeah. it hasn't been that for 30 years now. So, yeah. so old. obviously the VJs were the people on MTV that would introduce new videos, introduce new songs on air, Thus on television. And now... Jockey. If for anyone that has watched MTV for the past, I don't know, 10 years or so, who knows, they don't really play music videos much anymore, <laughs> but they're trying to be more we into social media. That. Yeah, YouTube's for that, exactly. But they're trying to be more social media savvy, um, have personalities still interact with their audience online. So they're doing a TJ, a Twitter jockey contest. And the one thing that's really interesting is they've actually teamed up with American Express, and the way that you both nominate people to be a TJ what for is a TJ? Twitter jockey. Yeah, but what do they do? Oh, they go on They either. make $100,000 and make yeah. famous. <laughs> make you famous. But they represent MTV and go on Twitter and go on Facebook and they just be, and So YouTube. like when, when we're, when, when somebody here on the marketing team here at HubSpot is running the Twitter account, is handling Twitter Oh, account, so I can be a TJ? Are we a TJ? Are we, are we a TJ? TJs too? I love that. So on H Mondays, I'm, a t TJ. I'm HubSpot TJ. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hashtag that SMD. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so anyhow, so with American Express now, you have to basically, in order to both vote and nominate people, you have to use the American Express fan page. In order to do any of that, you have to like this American Express. It's the it's the fan page specifically is the Zinc. It's a Zinc credit card fan page. What is Zinc? Is Zinc like their like teen line or something? Like I guess their it's their credit cards while you're high school. Their teen credit card. Yeah. Well, I shouldn't say that, but why not? Because I'm trying not to be controversial oh, like okay. you. Well, <laughs> well, that sounds like a great market for credit card companies. Get kids to have credit before they know how to handle it and then they have to pay the fees for the rest of their life. Yeah. So anyway. What's the lifetime value of a customer on that, Mr. It's business? Be absolutely amazing. <laughs> it seems perfectly logical though i mean if you're you're you know watching mtv or you're talking mtv on twitter you want a credit card too clearly it's it's a really good tie-in um episode it seems 100. perfectly logical yes. <laughs> so oh i shouldn't cheat so actually ironically to your point even though somewhat mm -hmm. um is it fair for these kids that don't care about american express at all to in order to interact with mtv which is what they actually care about to like this credit card. What do you think? I think from from the user's perspective, it's kind of stupid, and it's kind of why, why do I care? But realistically, it's not that much to ask if you're offering them a hundred thousand dollar dream job to work for MTV. But it's like still, it's, but from it's the business perspective, yeah. from the from AMX's perspective, like it's not going to do create direct sales or direct response. What it is going to do is that when these kids get older and they have to get a credit card, the first one they think of is going to be AMX. It's true. Right? They're going to be top of the mind. And this Zinc card, whatever the Zinc card, it's, it has a Z and a Y in it, which makes me think it's like edgy and youthful. Oh, totally. So. <laughs> I'm going to change my name to Dan Zirella. <laughs> <laughs> Your name is hard enough to spell. Like it's R R R L L L L. Like mozzarella, but with an extra R. A am I the only person missing the logic behind you have to go to Facebook to choose the Twitterer? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Should you be well, doing they do on interact on, on. They call it a TJ probably because you know T rhymes with V, and I guess FJ doesn't sound good. I don't yeah, know. Sounds it's a car <laughs> by Toyota and Toyota's brand not doing so well these. Uh, days. But you know, I will tell you, there's an app for that. Yeah. How are they measuring the winner? What yeah. would what would it be called if this person had to like maintain blogs? Like, what would the abbreviation be for that? I'm not. I'm not. What's hundred episodes? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna. It would be that that push that this. discount supply buying club chain. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. DJs, yeah, Sam's, yeah, totally. Yeah. Sam's. Um, <laughs> Costco. So anyhow, but there is an app for that. I didn't get to pitch. Oh, oh for what? Tweet level oh. is how they're judging this. They've got <laughs> 20 contestants in it, and if you go to the the homepage for the hundredth episode. <laughs> No, no, tweet level. You'd love this. Okay. You'd love this because right. you are the viral marketing scientist, the social right. media I, I scientist. Try, yeah. I don't have my laptop. They are measuring five points of influence. 
of their 20 contestants, and they're all displayed in a grid, and it's all being powered by a tool called Tweet Level that Edelman built. Oh, cool. So when you get to your, you know, kind of marketing takeaway on how this kind of thing works, I think it's really interesting to know that there's stuff like that out there that measures something that specific. Yeah, there's, I think there's a, there's a bunch of apps. There's uh, Tweet... Twitter is another Twitter-lizer. one, I believe. There's a lot uh, of Twitter There's this analytics. weird one, Grader. There's, there's Twitter Grader There's Twitter Grader. Yeah. 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 I, I know. know. I know. It's pretty cool. Well, we're going to do a blog post, actually. We're going to line up all the influence tools yes. mm-hmm. and matrix it with the 20 MTV contestants. Oh, that's awesome. And be like, all right, well, Which if Twitter Grader was the judge or if Clout was the judge... What's this look like? And get a feel for the subtleties of what's different. Because that's right, the hardest cool. thing, is like figuring out which tool's right for which job. Awesome. So anyway, can I say the marketing takeaway? I'm gonna say so one cool thing. Oh really? (laughs) That kind of makes me happy. (laughs) (laughs) Don't hate. Don't hate. But yes, go ahead. Do the marketing takeaway. Oh, I have to read it first. Um, (laughs) (laughs) I try to give give Dan. Consider whether aggressively growing your reach and followership with unqualified traffic is actually worth it.